Hi guys, welcome to Jamaica is a series. My name is Shaz and today I'm going to be doing for you um, Chef Noel's uh, coconut calm meal pudding. Now, to be honest, I'm not a fan of pudding, uh, but my stepdad is and my family is, so I'll bake it because I'm the designated baker for the family. Don't know why, but I am. So I wanted to show um, to share this recipe with you. Uh, I love, love, love Chef uh, Cunningham's uh, recipes, and I have a tendency to like throw a few things in there for my own little spin on it. So um, just stay tuned. I just want to let you know what I'm going to be using today. Obviously, these are the measuring cups, but I'm going to be using sugar, cornmeal. All-purpose flour, vanilla, water, cinnamon, nutmeg, raisins, salt, and obviously grace. No coconut. <laughs> so grace coconut milk. Uh, we love it in this family, so we use it. Also, this is. Uh, um, the margarine that we'll be using. So uh, my little twist that I put in it is also coconut. So I put coconut into the pudding and I also put it on the top. So I'm gonna get started with the cornmeal. You need three cups of cornmeal. I'm using a spoon to help me out because you know, it's kind of hard trying to pour, in it, pour it out. So I'm just doing that. I always try to make sure I get it just right because I just really hate, you know, you know, measure, you know how measuring is people, you know how measuring is, mm -hmm. so. Well, always remember to combine your dry ingredients all together for this recipe. So if you have like um, liquid, don't combine it with the, with the, um, the dry ingredients. Do the dry ingredients first and then the liquid after and then add it in. With the all-purpose flour, what I'm gonna need is um, half a cup. Flour is easier because all I can do is just stick it in there. You know, and then pull it up and use my thing again to you know, make sure the measurement is just Right. Next up, gonna be my cinnamon, which you need one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Teaspoon, people. I couldn't find my one tea, my one teaspoon, people. So I'm gonna be using a half a teaspoon. So I'll use three of these. So that's one. That's two. That's three. Then, you know, the salt. And you need, um, it's saying right here, uh, one and a half teaspoon salt. So it is again, make sure it's leveled in just one. Now I'm gonna do the nutmeg. Um, what I suggest is that you grate the nutmeg before. I prefer the nutmeg to the nutmeg powder. So I grated some already and I'm gonna put in my nutmeg. And it's saying I need um, one teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm gonna use two of these. I'm gonna scoop it up and just make sure it's measured accurately. As you can see, just that's half a teaspoon. And then this is This can be a pain, but you know, so that's how things roll in these places. All right, so that's my thing there. Um, so right now I'm gonna I combine these things. The next thing is oh, I have to get a saucepan because in order to do the wet ingredients, I need a saucepan so I can add my coconut milk, my water, and my vanilla and also my sugar. I'm gonna have to put a saucepan pan on the stove. I'm using my saucepan. I like the color red. I think we need some little flavor up in here. So um, I'm going to get 
vanilla. Actually, this ingredients have the option of using rum, three tablespoons of rum, people, three tablespoons. So for the roommate people, then you might want to have it, but it doesn't taste, you know, the alcohol, it gets baked out, the heat, you know, brings it down. So for the vanilla, I need two, two teaspoons. So because I don't have the one, I have to, I have to use four of these makes two teaspoons. Four half makes uh, two holes. This one. So right now, people. <laughs> Yes, I'm um, clumsy, it's all right. Uh, so right now I'm gonna open the Grace um, coconut milk and I'm gonna measure it up. Then I'm gonna add it in my, um, you know, saucepan. So people wash off the top of the stuff, okay? You never know what can happen. Normally, um, the two cups is about one and a half can of Grace um, coconut milk. So there you see. So set ready now. Now is look though. All right, good to go. So you pour it in here. There you go. As I said, just be very careful with this. It's very sharp. And then I just like throw out all the rest. Use this people for just open it up because like as I tell you now, very difficult. It look like creamy. So since we already had some from the other can, let's start getting lowered up. It's creamy. It's creamy. It's creamy people. Look at it. Look at how it looks so good people. One cup right there, so the dash of tea. So now I'm going to have to put in, let me I'll just wash out the spoon. The next thing now, when it starts bubble up, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in these, which is a raisin. Um, my family I love raisin, it's supposed to be one cup of raisin. But my stepfather don't like the raisin thing, people. So we are gonna do that, and then we'll put in. We're gonna put in this. All right. So I need um, a cup, a cup of sugar. A cup of sugar in with the dry ingredients. Hey, right. see it here. Let's go ahead. So people, I'm normally more organized than this. I don't know if I get nervous because of YouTube, because I'm normally nervous, but I don't know, get ready to put the margarine into the saucepan. Don't be afraid to get it in there, people. I normally use a knife for just press it down, because if you don't, then the bottom part, it not got have enough of, you know, where you need, see? So I'm gonna old people, so that's why you have to press it down. All right, now for the fire time, people. So now it needs to go on medium eat, people. As you can see, the stove full because with dinner, we already done cooked dinner already. I want to get ready to um, get this done. So we'll put it on, we'll put it on medium eat right there. So, so for the one last thing that needs to go in here, so right now, is the raisins. And after you put that in there, when it starts to get a little hot, you start mixing it around to mix out the sugar. Right, because you can't have the grainy grainy sugar going in there. Have to be all mixed up. So now people to get warm, so I'm gonna start the process. You hear it? You hear it? So I'm gonna start the process. So people, when we're making the topping, 
you got to put um, one cup of coconut milk, which I already did. Then you have to put one fourth cup of sugar, which I already did, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So you do all of that, you put it on the heat, and you just do everything till it's all blended together. So everybody, for the liquid that's gonna be combined with the, um, the dry ingredients, you're gonna need to pour coconut milk, which is two cups of coconut milk, you're gonna need three cups of water, and you're gonna need two teaspoons of vanilla. And you put them together in a, um, a saucepan and just mix those together, and that's your liquid. So now I'm pouring in the liquid, half of it. I have to pour half of it in here. And just a little trick with um, cornmeal, it has to be soft. Cause you'll think that this is ready now, but it's not. That's just half of the liquid. So just no set. Yeah, we have to pour in the rest of the liquid. And see it come here. So. Not telling like people can't feel the heat from the stove. Right now, may I shut this off? Right? And, and lift it up, right? Cause guess what? Me send me put coconut, the you know the grated coconut in there. So half of this, this is my added thing. If you want it to taste really good, I say add that in there. So I put half of this in right now, and then the other half I put it on the topping. So you'll get coconut all throughout the the mixture, right? Um, Chef Noel Cunningham. You have to sit with me because me like it this way. Me know you're one and a side steer, but I, I saw me do it. So, coconut are my uh, secret ingredients, a grated coconut. All right, people, so this ready now to get transfer over to the baking tin. So, I have to scrape off the stuff with, you know, my spatula. I normally just take this off to make it easier because me not like problems. And I already start the cleanup process because you know, Miss Jackie has OCD, so she personally like it when you do it as you go, but I like to clean up when I'm done, just get everything done, but she likes it to be done, you know, so I'm going to take it over, and then you'll see. So you need a baking tin, so me like to put uh, file paper in it, you don't have to just grease your pan and um, put it in there, but I um, just like to take it out when I bake it. So I just always put um, file paper in it. So that's how I do it. You don't have to do it so, but never to it so no. And as you can hear, the picnic them in the background. Always come in the video with them nice and I mess up the video. But you know, we have kids and so it's good. This is the topping that's gonna go on top of that. And this is gonna go in the topping. So the coconut, with Chef Noel Cunningham recipe, he doesn't put um, coconut, the grated coconut in it. Just the coconut milk. I add it to mine because um, I, it just tastes better for me. Uh, not me, because I don't eat it to be honest. My family likes it better, so I've tried it. You know, because anytime I get a recipe, I'll try it the first way how they say to do it, and then I'll put my twist on it. So sometimes that means gr grating lemon and put all that stuff in it, or putting almond uh, in it. But this trip, I'm just gonna be cooking coconut. So I'm gonna take that right now and put it in here so that it can be ready and I can get rid of this big ass pan, to be honest. So. Always remember set on the wash your hand. Wash your hand 50 million times. So now this beauty is going to go in the oven. So. so right now, since I put it in the oven, I have to give it on the timer for 15 minutes because I have to take it out after 15 minutes to put on the topping. Very, very important, don't forget. 
If you don't have a timer on your stove, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You can have a timer by your stove, nothing wrong with that. Just make sure that you put your timer on your phone or wherever you have a timer. That's perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna wait 15 minutes, then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what you need to do after that 15 minutes. So hopefully, when I will see it go, I only will go try it. Please try it for your family. See if you like it. I know the Jamaican them don't know the Carmio uh, pudding and I'm gonna make it. But if you want, try Chef Cunningham. Big up yourself, Chef Cunningham. Thank you for all your nice recipe on Jamaicans.com. People go check out Jamaicans.com. It's a good site. It's for yardies, for foreigners. We all come together, all, all good kind of um, recipes on it. Usually we don't use it for our recipes, but I wanted to try this cornmeal pudding. And so I liked it, so I don't do another cornmeal pudding. I just do this one. So I hope you will check it out and you'll like it. So this people gonna be the topping that goes on top of the cornmeal pudding. All right, so the timer went off. And so I'm gonna stop it. Like stop the timer. And I'm um, gonna open the stove. All right, I'm gonna put this down. Safety first, people. Safety. I always use one of these two because I can't. I can't deal. So, as you can see, after 15 minutes, it's gonna still be not ready yet. So, you take, put this down right here. You take this. You scoop it on the top. It's gonna go down. Take that. You scoop it on the top. You're supposed to mix it around. Make sure you mix it around. You see people mix it around. I mean, all the way around. So it gets all in the mixture from the bottom to the top, right? Mix it all around, you can see? And then just scoop in all the rest. Just scoop in all the rest. Just scoop it on in. Scoop it on in. Let me get it all. Let me get it all. Let me get it all. Back down. Right. And you can see it's like full. So you don't have to worry about it being full, people, because guess what? It's a cornmeal pudding, so it doesn't like, um, it doesn't, it doesn't rise. So it, it's not gonna go over. So we got it. Let's put it in the middle. And just push it all, slowly push it in, people, slowly. All right, then I'm gonna wipe this because I don't want it to set, right? So right now, we're putting it on the timer for one hour. So we're gonna wait around for an hour and when it's finished, people, let me fix my pants, right? I mean, like, when it's finished, people, then I'm gonna take it out and then you're gonna see what it looks like. So make sure you steer to see what it looks like because it's supposed to look really good when it's finished. So you'll get to check it out, all right? All right, so the alarm or the timer, the timer just went off. So I'm gonna check um, and see what it looks like. All right, so this is the pudding and I'm gonna just um, test it, I'm gonna test it. Here and the bottom. Okay, so this is the top. The top looks like that, which is fine. The bottom is good because you can see it's coming out clean on the bottom. Um, it's when I pull it out that the top in is supposed to be softer. Um, so it, it's ready to come out. Uh, my stove always takes about an hour and 15 minutes for it to be ready. So just know, even though it says an hour, um, just know what your stove act like. And if your stove don't act right, if it don't act right, then you know you have to give it some more time. So I'm gonna transfer it from here to the table. All right, so it looks really good, people. And it smells amazing. The sucky part is I don't eat this, but it smells so good, people, so good. My family will enjoy it. So just um, hopefully you will try it and you will do it for your family or do it for yourself. You don't have to do it for your family if you don't want to. So um, th 
thank you for watching Jamaica is a series remember to like to comment and to subscribe and you know I I have to show you a close-up of this because it looks so good